Uh, so in between every level, you can go to the Wonderful Mart to buy new upgrades. What are we gonna buy first? First of all, it has an adorable theme song. It has two adorable theme songs. This is what the Wii U gamepad is showing right now. Thankfully, there's no actual way to capture the Wii U gamepad, but thankfully this game, when you press and hold the select button, has picture-in-picture -picture modes! Hooray! Uh, so I will be using this a lot to show you what's going on in the bottom screen, because this game uses the bottom screen a lot. Okay, what are these things you're not buying? Lots of healing <laughs> items. <laughs> Shocking red is basically shocking pink from Beautiful Joe. It was a bomb item you could buy. Wonderful Dummy is like a, a scapegoat thing. It's an extra life, so if you die, the, the Wonderful Dummy will die instead. Oh, that's cool. I love guts. We can buy Unite Morphs. These two with P-Star next to them are marked as... They have P-Star next to them because they are Unite important. Guts. Oh, okay. They, they're like must-buy items. Unite Guts! It's the block move. Now, that used to be called Unite Pudding, right? In the demo? Uh, it was... I call it Pudding because in the Japanese version that's what it was called. But it's actually okay. Unite Guts. I remember your demo video. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan. <laughs> so, Unite Guts and Unite Spring, the two marked as important, are also the cheapest moves to buy. Unite Spring. This one... is the dodge move. Unite Spring. You know how people, when we did LP Revengeance, I talked about how people didn't buy the dodge move? Mm-hmm. Lots of people don't buy the block or dodge move either in this game. Even though they are the cheapest moves, it's also like, even if you do really good or really poorly, you will have enough money to buy only those moves, because everything else is so much more expensive than those. But lots of people just never went to the store, went to the next level while never buying the dodge or the block move. Well, that's a shame. But then again, why did they even make them purchase required? Yeah, I feel like the, the block and dodge should be there from the very beginning. Team, after 20 years of silence, Geth Jerk is back. Is this now Edwin Tiong? <laughs> city. But we can't let them have it. The rise of that city is the rise of our planet following Earth Defense War 2. And I'll die before I let them lay their paws on it. I'm making you wonder, aren't I? Yeah! I've been waiting all my life for the chance to make those alien scum feel the sting of my Valiantium blade. Of course, they won't feel it for long. They'll be dead from the blade. Our colleagues at the Gaia Defense Eye have already activated the hyperplasma shield that circles the planet, codenamed Margarita. So yeah, big chunks of America are just gone because there have been two other wars in the past with the Geth Jerk and they blew up a big chunk of it. None of the GDA tactical simulations accounted for the salty dingoes blitzing our orbital defenses before Margarita could be shaken to life. And now, entire battalions have turned our home into a cocktail of destruction. The salty dingoes avoided our margarita shaker. <laughs> the Sentinels have gathered you all here on the Virgin Victory for one reason and one reason only. An all-out attack on Gethjerk. We will eliminate the enemy with speed, precision, and extreme prejudice. I hereby initiate Project Stinger. Why don't you just have me do it, save everybody the trouble? Wonderful ones from around the world are being rushed in and will join you as the battle progresses. Wonder Red, as a resident of Blossom City, your knowledge of the battlefield will be a valuable asset to the team. I'm placing you in charge. So this he'll be able to tell them, you know, which bus route to take to yeah. get to the battle. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, everybody, Seriously? I already have a card for the Sorry. bus. With all due respect, I accept command of the team. Roger. Nelson, bro, hold up. Captain Noobcakes? Really? Well, it's better than anyone who uses the word Noobcakes. <laughs> There's no such thing as tacky on radar! <gasps> Waveform patterns indicate heavy anti-air artillery. Also, there's something going on with your head. <laughs> it's all bouncy and squishy. Watch out, Alice. Anti-air. They must be trying to block our approach. Wonderful 100. Deploy and eliminate those enemy forces on the double. Roger. Team, fall in! Roger! So in this game, because you have all these dudes, taking damage works a little differently. 
If any of your other wonderful ones that are not the person actually controlling get hurt, they get knocked out. Mm -hmm. They'll either wake up after a certain amount of time, or you can instantly wake them up by going over and touching them. But if they get knocked out, you don't take, you don't lose health. Mm -hmm. You will only lose health in this game if your actual leader character gets hit by an attack. Like that. Ah. So you can actually, because the leader, when you're standing still or keeping them close together, is in the center, you can use your wonderful ones to defend yourself from small attacks. So, there's one attack I used in the previous video that I didn't really explain, and that's this thing. Your, uh, that's, your, your basic attack. Yeah, this is Team Attack that's done with the X button. Space Pepper! Hey! Team Attack serves many different functions all at once. Um, you can also do Team Attack while doing Unite Morph attacks at the same time. You can just mash both buttons at the same time. Since your Unite Morph uses... You have to use people to make your Unite Morph. The less people you have, the shorter the range your team attack is. Okay. So it's kind of a balancing act between having a large Unite Morph and having a lot of people so you can have a really long range for your uh, team attack. Space Carrot! So, all those, you can break a lot of things to get items, like you get a wonderful cake, which if you use that, just restores some of your batteries. A wonderful noodle soup to go restores health. <laughs> Okay, but what if you want to eat in? Uh, you can't. It's always to go. You know, heroes on the move. They've got places to be. Mm hmm Those, uh, space vegetables we were picking up is you are can be used to create items. Um, when you're making a Unite Morph, it's not, like, precise. Like, the n amount of people you put into it, it rounds to the closest number. Okay. So there, there are four different sizes. There's ten, there's twenty, fifty, and a hundred people. This is a twenty. A 20! Anything larger than a 10-person Unite Morph has a time limit on it. So eventually, it'll just turn revert back to a normal 10-person Unite Morph. And when you saw that uh, Wonder Blue being on fire, that's just an indicator that if you bring your Unite Morph back out, it'll still be big. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so even if you don't have Unite Morph out, you'll know if it's still going to be giant when you pull it back out. Mm-hmm. Um, pulling a... Unite Morph back out is just pressing the attack button. If you want to put it away, you just press the dash button. Cool. The the Y button like cancels out your Unite Morph. Or if you're drawing and you want to stop drawing, you just press the Y button like that. Uh -oh. you, you just cancel out of it. Yep. This is the Chu Dogu. Oh dear. They're Dogu commanders. <laughs> So again, Unite Sword is really good. It, it has low attack power, but it has a longer range than Unite Fist does, or Unite Hand. And Dogus are like the weakest dudes in the game. So it's really easy to just sweep them up. And that right there was Unite Guts. <laughs> you can't hold the button down to like have Unite Guts out forever. It yeah, You have to time it. Right. So Unite Guts can also block multiple dudes at once. Enemies that, uh, if you block an attack, enemies will get dazed, which is why they have that blue star above them. They just get knocked out for a little. Okay. Team Attack has multiple functions. Like right here, hit enemies with Team Attack, they have that orange circle around them. That means they're lo you're locked onto them, so you can, even if you're really far away, you can attack them. You just like zoom straight over to them when you try to attack them. Nice. Team attack also leads to climb attack, so when you hit somebody with team attack, one of your party members will leave, and they'll latch onto the enemy and then just punch them for a while. <laughs> uh, and that also slows them down, right? Yeah, it can slow them down, it does chip damage. You can stun enemies with climb attack, like this dude, the Chudogu, he can dodge, he can just flip right through your attacks. Um, but like, if I get multiple people onto him all at once, uh, it'll actually stun him. So if I have three people on him, now he's stun locked. Nice. So he can't do anything, he can't dodge, I can just wail on him. The larger the enemy, the more people they need on them before they get stunned. Well, that's just science. Yeah. So like Dogus, they get stunned by having one person on them. Also, the dodge move, like in most Platinum games, has invincibility frames. So if you dodge right when attack's about to hit you, you go, you just pass straight through it. 
like dogus can be knocked out or they can be stunned by a single person being on them. Uh, two dogus need three. Some enemies need like up to ten all on, on them all at once. Big fellas. Dogus also get new attacks when they have when two dogus are around. Like they can get grouped up like this and fly around. <laughs> Otherwise, they all fight separately uh, and just kind of like shoot, fire their guns at you. Ah, awesome. Yep. So there's actually two waves here. I was that was just <laughs> showing what the Chu Dogus would do. Those Chu Dogus. Yeah, what are all these numbers popping up on the uh, on the left hand side? So that's your combo score. Uh, there's lots of bonuses. So every time you hit an enemy, your combo multiplier goes up, which you can see with that little sword icon. Da, 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 da. So you can increase your multiplier. Normal hits give you only like a couple points for each hit. And like blocking or dodging gets you like bonus points. So like 100 bonus points for blocking or 200 actually for blocking an attack. Mm -hmm. There are also some super hard to find collectibles in here, like this window. There can be small open holes and you can send your wonderful ones in there and they'll find items for you, like a wonderful figure. Oh man, that one looks wonderful. Yeah, there there are action figures for every single character in the game. <laughs> uh, well, all the wonderful ones and other like major characters. You cannot there are no like action figures for the enemies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that would be a bit excessive. Mhm. Mm there are a ton of enemy types in this game. Citizen. Mm -hmm. Now, um does does adding the police person, does, does he work differently from your average citizens? So... Because he's police, or...? It's mostly cosmetic, but, like, they will... Like, different citizens, like, use different weapons sometimes. So, like, some of the, like, the, the school children I've noticed are usually sword users. Oh, okay. And, like, the policemen are usually fist users. Yeah, yeah, that, that works out with my experience. Okay. <laughs> Small wonderful cake. You don't have to be big to be wonderful. Mm -mm. Space eggplant. That will never be wonderful. <laughs> I'll explain what those do in a little bit. So there's no combos with team attack. You can just spam it a ton, and it's really useful because you know you can stun people. Uh, you can do chip damage with the team attacks, and also just being able to lock onto enemies. Because some enemies... Yeah, that seems pretty helpful. This enemies kind of chaotic. Yeah. When the game... When you first start playing this game, it's fucking crazy. And... <laughs> you don't say! <laughs> you start to, like... Hey, hey, there's fists there. You left fists alone. What I'll is get that? The, I'll get the fists in a second. Okay. Yeah, there's a point where the game just starts clicking, and it's, you know, it's kind of like when Neo sees the code in the Matrix. That's what <laughs> happens when this game clicks. I will say, though, part of the reason it's chaotic is just because there's so many Dogus, and they're little. They're the same size as the Wonderful Ones. Mm -hmm. Most enemies in this game are much larger than you, so it's a lot easier to keep track of what's going on. Okay. Yeah, most of the, like, most enemies are, like, the size of your entire group of people, or larger. Big fist! Big ass fists! Yes! You can't, I just, I just want to give somebody a hug with these huge ass fists. <laughs> so... A lot of the Geth Jerk enemies in this game can drop uh, enemies after you defeat them. Uh, the the Chu Dogus drop those fists; they're one-time use. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them drop weapons you can use repeatedly. I'm sure people have already noticed it, but can I just say how much I love uh, the the blur effects on your different zoom levels that makes yeah. everything look miniature? Yeah, they they use the tilt shift effect very well in this game. Hey. Uh, oh, I should mention the, the the zooming. You do that with the the L and R shoulder buttons. There's four different levels of zoom. Let's ignore everything he's saying and uh, point out that I would really love a toy of this fella because he's adorable. Yeah. We'll go to that wonder toilet in a second. <laughs> no, it's just a closet. It's the, that's what the C stands for, wonder closet. Ah, yes. 
So you saw I, I made a couple trees grow. You can uh -huh. there's lots of things that you can wrap a, your wonderliner around in this game and get items for. You can make plants grow like an Okami. Uh, you can also pick up cars by wrapping the wonderliner around it. Your guys will pick it up and then you can press the Y button to throw it at stuff. Okay, and can that can that double as an attack or do yes, you... yes, oh, actually. Cool. Sometimes there's stuff hidden underneath the cars. Uh, for example, this car has something neat under it. It is actually... Come on, show us the neat thing. Oh, there's a wonderful one hiding under there. Well, this looks like a nice person. Mm-hmm. Some sort of wonder painter? You can also level up in this game. Uh, when you level up, you will get new moves, like the wonderful stinger uh, for the sword. Hey, I was right. I was exactly right. The Holy Rainbow Brush. Such wisdom! So I just leveled up there. There's lots of things you can do to level up. Just fighting enemies lets you level up. Uh, on the gamepad here, you can actually bring up this screen where you can look at all your wonderful ones. Uh-huh. Each individual wonderful one, like the ones that are like permanent members, not the citizens, they all have individual experience bars here. <laughs> uh, so they can all level up individually. Uh, and when they all level up, like, when a bunch of fist people level up, you'll get, like, new mo moves for the fist. Because, like, Wonder Blue here, he leveled up, and that's why I learned that new move. That's great. Everybody is always getting experience points at the same time, but uh, in the screen, you can also set, like, who's the fist user. Well, now it's Wonder Rex. As it should be. Yes. As it should be. So you can set the... For each Unite Morph you've got, you can set who's going to actually use it, um, and whoever is, like, the How leader... How many unique voice clips are there? Is that just uh, the same one modulated for tiny characters? Uh, there, not every wonderful one has a unique voice clip, but a lot of them do. That's great. That is great. Whoever is the leader character gains experience faster. <laughs> so there's a reason to play as the different wonderful ones. This move here was Wonderful Stinger. You just do a back-forward motion on the stick and press attack. So it's Stinger. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, there, there are no complicated button inputs for combos. The combos more come from using all your different Unite Morphs properly. They also show off all of the different moves here. You can also turn some of them on and off, which is actually really useful for this game. Because there are some moves that are actually bad to have on, depending what enemy huh. you're fighting. Okay. Not usually, just there's certain circumstances where some moves you might actually want to turn off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff here. There's... Oh, parts? The items in this game have different, like, scarcities. Like, the Unite Morph cartridges are, like, a rank in rarity. Do, do we ever see an object those slot into? Because I'm curious... I just want to see what the deck is that has those cartridges so, as a thing. Well, here, first, there's this Bottle Cop cap collection. Bottle this cap. is Bottle Cop. Bottle Cop. That's just the the, the achievement menu. Um, yeah, actually, the, <laughs> the, the description for the Unite Morph cartridges, you actually slot them into P-Star, because he already looks like a game console. That's great. So those space vegetables I've been picking up, you can use those to make items. You got that chart over there showing you how many of each you need to mix. Oh. So it's mostly healing items. You can make, like, the bombs and stuff. There's actually one unique item you can make only from space vegetables. You need 30 of each to make it. Um, so I'm going to save up. Whoops. I'm going to save up until we have 30 of each of those. Because when you have 30 of each... Also, this is what a 50 sword, a 50-person sword looks like. Uh, it's that's something. It's very big. Um, the larger a Unite Morph is, the shorter its time limit is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when you have 30 of each space vegetable, you can make a credit card somehow. <laughs> and that credit card lets you buy one item from the store for free, no matter how expensive it is. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And like, can you make unlimited credit cards as long as you have 30 vegetables? As long as you have enough vegetables, yes. That's great. Mm -hmm. So that wonderful toilet, when you put enough people in there, items will shoot out of it. They always have something different in it. Sometimes it's money, sometimes it's a collectible. I was going to ask how many people you have, but that's the, the number way up in the corner. 56, yep. right? Okay. Yep. Top left, 56 people. 
There's a whole bunch of people underneath this truck, including one of the best wonderful ones. <laughs> Look at him. I'm looking. I am looking. Also, recruiting people gets you experience, and when you level up, sometimes you get more health. Hey! Look at that tubby. Mm-hmm. And this one. Wonderbeer, the Cheers Knuckles. He's 53. <laughs> and he's a brewery manager. <laughs> he looks like one. Mm-hmm. So this game has a fair amount of Easter eggs in it, too. He's like, a craftsman. When you have a Unite Morph out, you can't run. You move slowly, which is why you need to lock on with a team attack so you can cover more ground. Mm -hmm. But if we say move Wonderbeer out, he has a special trait. He can <laughs> run with Unite Morphs out. Oh, that's great. Some, Unite, some uh, wonderful ones have special little traits like that. They aren't super useful, but it's nice enough to, like, you know, give you a reason to play as them. Mm -hmm. uh, the hand can also turn giant cogs. As it should. Mm -hmm. Can't do that with a sword. Take that, blue guy. So this game also has lots of little puzzle sections that use the gamepad. For instance, on the bottom screen, I am inside this warehouse. And we have a whole bunch of cogs here. On the top screen, there's a big combo thing. And the, the number 235 was on the gate on the bottom screen. So we just gotta, ch we gotta turn the cogs, get the correct code so we can open the door. There you go. Hey, that's super cool. Mm hmm I think a lot of the, the puzzle stuff they do with the gamepad is pretty cool. There's one or two that are kind of weird and kind of <laughs> clunky, but I like a lot of them. I mean, over the course of an entire game, one or two, that's a... I can think of two right off the top of my head that I don't really like. Yeah, that's a real good hit-to-miss ratio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this thing has a danger rating of zero. What is it? Yeah, the gotchas are actually, um... Oh, one sec. Yeah. A little too busy congratulating myself <laughs> in the past to explain. No, like, some of these enemies, they turn purple right before they're about to blow up. You can actually recruit them as allies. <gasps> Ooh. Only, it only works for dogus and shudogus. When you get them to lo very low health, they will turn purple and... And they're adorable when they run. So yeah. there you go. So if you wrap the Wonderliner around them right as they're about to explode, you can recruit them as allies. Um, but no, the, the gotcha there is uh, when get your capture humans, they put them in little, like, gotcha machine balls and put them in that. Mm -hmm. So once I take these guys out, I can actually turn the cog there and rescue a whole bunch of people that are trapped inside. Oh, that's so kind of you. You're a real hero. All right. So there's another score bonus. Uh, when enemies are dazed with the blue star on top of them, every time you hit them, you get an extra 100 bonus points. Nice. Uh, so stunning enemy, or dazing and stunning enemies is both a really good way to get a lot of extra points for your combo Kicking score. Kicking people while they're down really is the most heroic thing you can do. I'm not opening that gotcha right now. I'll get it in a second. I'm actually still in the mission, so I'm still getting ranked on time. So oh, okay. Yeah. I just want to recruit these dudes first. Whoop. <laughs> Careful. Good thing they have wonder jacks. Yeah, so your your wonderful ones aren't like Pikmin, they can't die. Like if they fall off an edge, they just they just fly right back to you. Yeah, I'm wondering about jumping. How does that work? I wonder if I should jump! There we go. Now let's yeah. uh, turn some cranks. There's actually some other stuff. We're here, underneath the bridge. Ooh. Some fish down here. If you <laughs> also, wrap the wonder... unlike, unlike Pikmin, they aren't water allergic. Yeah. If you wrap the Wonderline around fish, they explode into money for some reason. There is a bottle cap for making, like, a lot of fish blow up into money. <laughs> What's that? What's that box? Some boxes can only be opened by certain Unite Morphs, like the one with chains... Gotta cut it open with the sword. 
Now, do they all glow blue, or is that another hint, like that's, color coding? That's another hint. Uh. Lots of stuff in this game is color coded for you Night Morphs. Uh, but we just picked up a wonderful file. You can pick up lots of files in here that give you, like, more backstory to different characters. Mm -hmm. uh, these will be posted in the thread, they'll be on the website, and if you're watching this on YouTube, the description below will probably have links to the images as well. So there you go. There you go. Some more holes with stuff in them. Get in there. Now is there really any way to know what hole has what holes have things? Do all holes have things? So they're generally they're generally circular holes like this are like open windows or open doors. Um, not this level, but next level, uh, there's like a little tutorial one where they have batteries up leading up to a window, and so you try to pick up the batteries and it just kinda leads you into that window by accident. Oh, and shows cool. you that you can find stuff in like little holes like that, little openings. Um, so I also picked up those Gethdrick files, which is just like more information on the different enemy types. Yeah, because you've been having so much trouble with them lately. Yeah. There's also secret missions. Da -na 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 -na. Okay. Oh, see, red with a crank. Ah, I yep. get it. I get <laughs> it. I'm learning. I have yeah. no idea what the fuck's happening now. But I'm learning. <laughs> so, the enemies in this game have, for the most part, have pretty good sound cues for when they're about to attack. So even if you don't know they're winding up to hit you, you'll still hear a sound. With enough time to spring or pudding. Yeah. Also, her name is Aerith. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, also, the uh, both spring and guts, you know, you're not drawing to do those ones. They're just on the, the left and right triggers. Um, mm -hmm. But using them still uses up battery cells. Like a single dodge or a single block uses one battery cell. Okay. Yeah. Coot that dude. Oh, that's a lot of guts you got there. And a lot of enemies in this game have a pretty decent wind-up time, and they telegraph really well. And that's just a bottle cap for getting enough, like, platinum medals. I think it's like 10 or something. Okay. So, uh, last time you didn't get pure platinum for the entire level because you missed a secret. There's a secret level that you cannot access on a first playthrough, yeah. Oh, okay. So once we have the ability to access that one, we'll be going back. Do we have it yet? No, oh. it'll actually oh. be a little while before we, before we get that ability. Oh, and they're automatically recruited. You d they don't yep. even make you go through the rigmarole. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there are actual, like, wonderful ones in there, not just citizens. Oh, so also, some, some wonderful ones are randomized? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, there are certain gotcha things. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, after completing that secret mission, there's also some more people back here to recruit. Uh, one of them being... And now you have, a, you have two versions of Stinger. You have Sword Stinger, Punch Stinger. Yep. Wonder Diva. Beauty Knuckles. <laughs> yeah, so you get like the same move for different Unite Morphs, but they all behave a little differently. Mm -hmm. um, so in the gamepad things, the camera control's a little weird, because you're using the right stick to draw mainly. So you're using like gyro controls to move the camera around, which is a little strange. 